sugar boogers, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. I hope you guys are prepared for one of the most miserable days in Rossi's life yet. Uh, so as you can tell, <laughs> um, she is so close to having her baby. I mean, we are just about to get into the third trimester, which I'm still aiming for a girl. Um, but, you know, just from last night and the wedding and everything, she honestly should have probably just taken off. And that's my bad because I, like, forced this poor girl to go and get a paycheck. But she is still super duper freaking stinky. And as you guys know, she, like, pissed herself at the wedding. So this is kind of just, like, residue from last night, you know? Like, these are the days that you would expect um, from being in the plastics, but no, these are the days of being a mom, working a full-time job, and just trying to make ends meet. And I'm pretty positive, Rossi, not that I'm trying to, like, judge you or anything, but she's supposed to be eating a little more healthy for the baby. At least that's what the doctor said. She's kind of suffering from borderline prenatal diabetes, right now so she is supposed to be on a low um a low a low sugar diet um but of course at this point she honestly just doesn't care she's gonna eat whatever the hell she wants she's pregnant okay <laughs> she's rick james at this point like she doesn't even care pretty much like she's going to have all the pie all the cake all the all the freaking pastries of the entire world and there's nothing nothing anybody can do to stop her um but uh yeah no i feel bad because she's feeling really miserable right now but i promise you We'll get through the day, and we'll get through the day together. So I'm going to let her go ahead and eat, and she's just, like, checking her phone and her text. Her heart is just not in it today, and that's, again, why I should have had her just stay home. But we're going to try to make the best of the day. So we need to go take some temperature, or take the patient's temperature. So all that I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to, let me see, um take temperature what do we need to do to get her a promotion so we need to treat treat two patients in order to be able to uh, be able to move on to the next level so I could discuss health or I could also go ahead and treat the patient which I'm going to prescribe uh, medicine for what did he have what was his symptom uh for gas and giggles like I always have the gas and giggles <laughs> I'm not oh you're cute hi like seriously who are you uh, Caleb's long lost twin Oh, <laughs> hello there, kind sir. Um, no, seriously, like, I feel like he is, like, relatable. He's really cute. Like, so cute. He's adorable. Um, let's go ahead and treat him for the starry eyes with meds, even though I think he just, like, cured himself. Um, his name is Corey Yuan, but I feel like if he was a teen- Oh, <gasps> he is a teenager! Oh, my God. We need to have a girl. She needs to age up stat because this hubby right here. I don't know why. I never really fan girl, like, over- like, uh, teenagers or anything like that. Because, like, like, you know, that's, like, robbing the cradle, as my mom would put it. But uh, I just feel like he's just really attractive for some reason. And I don't see very many teenagers in the game. So, there we go. Um, it probably is, honestly, his hairstyle at this point. But uh, we've already treated one patient, you guys. So, you should feel very proud. Very productive day. It's only uh, 9.30 a.m. and we've already treated two patients. All right. So, we need to uh, take a temperature. Um... Uh, greet three patients, which we could have done, I guess. And then we were going to swap her for a sample. I wonder what Caleb is up to today. I wonder if we could have him go ahead and work out or do something a little bit. Can he actually come here? That would be so cool. I wish he could. I wish they were able to come and visit. Um, that would be a really nice little thing. But obviously, it kind of makes sense that it wouldn't be allowed. All right. So, unfortunately, Rossi dropped the, uh, the tissue sample. <laughs> so, we got to go ahead and try this again. I mean, like I said, we are, like, fumbling faults right now because, I mean, she just she can't get it together why are you texting in front of a patient isn't there like the the hippo law or my mom my mom calls it the hippo law and she goes hey, jennifer there's something that you can't just do that there's a hippo law i'm like mom is it a hippo or a hippo i haven't decided what animal it is yet but when i when i know i'll let you know um the stench is honestly getting so bad and we're not being able to complete anything for some reason because she's just like it's just not happening like look what is she doing she wants to go eat Again, she wants to go buy a freaking snack. Well, obviously, I know what you're saying. Hey, she's pregnant. And look at the freaking lobby. We have, like, a lineup. <gasps> oh, my God. So, naturally, we've got freaking Sonia here, which I had asked you guys. I was like, hey, should we, you know, try to fix the relationship? What do you guys feel about that? A lot of you just said it wasn't even worth it and to let it go. So, at this point, honestly, I think we've kind of um, sworn her off. And that's a little... A little disappointing, but 
it's just kind of the way that it is. Um, I'm going to try to come over here too and also um, I'm going to try to give everybody like a little introduction and then admit a couple of their patients to the bed because we've been kind of slacking this morning and to be honest with you, I just want to go home and I feel like the sooner we get to do this and the, the, the better... Um, because then we'll be able to leave and just go and relax. So we've created three patients. We need to practice bioanalysis. I'm going to come over here with the with the little kid in the chameleon outfit, which I love chameleons, by the way. I really do like reptiles. Isn't that weird? A lot of girls don't like reptiles, and I don't know why that is. Not even, yeah, I think, right? I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's such a stupid stigma. Like, girls don't like snakes and stuff. I love snakes. Would I hold a snake? I don't know. It depends on how big it is. <laughs> I mean, would you? I mean, let's be realistic. Like, I mean, it's there's a little sort of intimidation there. Um, but I do. I really like reptiles. I love... What are you doing? This isn't musical chairs, hooker. Like, you are on my time. This is why we are not like a... It, it was like a pediatric... Pediat, pediat, I can't even say it. Like a pedi pediatrics? Am I in pediatrics? Is that correct? Is that correct? Somebody tell me is that correct. Please give me hope. <laughs> um... But yeah, no, I don't know. I just, I do. I think they're cool. Congratulations on getting married. You can suck this D. <laughs> um, seriously, she just really needs to leave me alone. I like, I can't even stand her at this point. We got a viable tissue sample. Can I get a whoop whoop? Can I get a boop boop? Can I get a mm mm? No, Jen, you can get the esh, the eh, uh, message you can get, girl. <gasps> okay, I need to, seriously, pregnant people can be, they can be a handful. She is so big. She's so big. Like, and I don't mean, like, I just mean, like, her tummy is really big. Like, I feel like there could be, there could be, there could be two in there. There could be triplets. All right, we are so close to, like, ending this day. It's just a not a good day. Like, I was going to work, you guys, expecting for this to be just not a good day. Uh, so, I mean, really, you can't anticipate anything being any better than this. Um, so, let's uh, analyze uh, Evelyn Higa's sample. Uh, maybe we can get something good to happen here. At least, you know, a little. I mean, I should have her stay late because, gosh, you know, she really could just use it. And I don't want to, but I kind of have to. It's not like, you know, much of an option at this point. Um, because if we don't, we don't do well, we, we could get fired. And I'm not trying to have that happen. Like, Caleb is so proud of me, you know, to actually have this job. And, I don't want to, I don't want to fail and I don't want to let him down because we have all these freaking, oh my God, somebody's getting the hots. She wants to woohoo with Caleb. Um, and what else does she want to do? She wants to be funny with Romeo, but she's, she's feeling frisky right now. It's kind of an odd, you know, an odd thing that she's, it's happening like midday, but you know, it, 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 it is what it is. All right. So I need to swab the patient again for a sample. I'm trying to, I've been trying to take the temperature since this freaking morning. <laughs> Like, seriously, it's, what is my problem? Besides, like, you know, the obvious. Uh, this guy seriously, seriously, seriously reminds me of, like, a wannabe, wannabe, whatever. I already told you guys that. Monomer, Mortimer, whatever. Um, I'm loopy, too, by the way. Like, Rossi and I are not the only ones who are tired right now. Like I said, I've been kind of doing a little bit of pre-filming. Um, just because, you know, this weekend has just been so crazy. I celebrated birthdays I went to a freaking com uh, comedy show which was really exciting I love comedy shows you guys um what's your favorite community I really want to know like I love I just I love Dane Cook um he's one of my favorites what else oh gosh I just I don't know I just do and it was really good I, I saw I forgot what the guy's name was See, this is bad. I'm really not, I'm, I'm not good with names. Like, I'm good with usernames. <laughs> like, if you guys comment a lot, I know exactly who you are and, you know. Um, but for some reason, like, when I just meet somebody, like, once, I'm not very good at it. But, um, I don't know. He was really funny. And I really enjoyed his humor. And he talked about so many different things. He was, um, he was African American. And, uh, he, I think it was, it was basically a prime, it was like a show. Just, you know, like, with, um, him, another guy. And I think there was like this one like amateur um, comedian and he was just saying so many things and it was like such a positive place. And, you know, just all all the stuff that's going on with, you know, the the the, the, the crime and the police and, you know, all these like this, this there's racism that just I swear to you just needs to like die. The racism just needs to go away. Um, OK, she's passing out on the freaking bench. Like, I think we're done. This is as good as we could do today. Uh, but we did earn a vacation day at $148, so, like, whatever. 
But anyway, it was just a really cool moment and the reason why I'm bringing this up and I'm like uh, treading very light waters here because I don't want to like um, accidentally offend anybody because obviously that's not where my heart is. But it was just a really cool thing because it was definitely um, in my eyes, you know, a show that was really relating to a lot of these things that are going on in the world right now. Um, and it was just so amazing. He like had looked to the crowd and he was like, you know, this is proof that, you know, African American people and, and, and white people can get along. Like here we are united and enjoy. It was just really beautiful. I guess it was kind of like a comedy show, but it was also like, I felt like as a community, we were being brought together and we were colorless at that point. And, uh, I get a little teary eyed thinking about it because it's, it's cool. It's, it was, it was really heartwarming and god it was so freaking awesome and i don't know it's just fun to like because i feel like there's just so much um and, and rightfully so i feel like there's just so much stuff that goes with race you know like as you know i am obviously caucasian but as a caucasian person you know you you tread on white water just because you don't want to offend anybody of any race and then you know I feel like there's a stigma with that. And to be able to be in a situation where, you know, we're just laughing together and, 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 and you know, about each other and over each other. And it was just amazing. I guess it's, I'm probably not describing it correctly, but it was so lighthearted. It was so, you know, not uptight. It was just there was like no hurt feelings. And it was just like we could just enjoy each other and just be, I don't know, be united. And I thought that was really cool. So that's also that was last night, <laughs> or technically, that was on Sunday, Saturday, Saturday, so, like, I don't know what day it would be by me recording this, so technically, I think I'm recording, I'm gonna upload this, I don't know when I'm uploading this, but anyway, it was over the weekend, and, uh, yeah, I liked it, it was fun, it was a good time, um, I definitely want to go to more comedy shows, um, but I wanted to share that with you, it was just, it was also, it was, like, a comedy show, but it was also, um, how do you say, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, like, um, not a pep talk, because that's weird, but, like, a, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the exact <laughs> words that I'm trying to say right now. I'm like really tired, but yeah, a couple hours of sleep, came home really late last night. My husband got, he doesn't drink very much, but whew. basically it was Mama Jen. And I really love the fact that there is a bowl of rotten something in this case. Like seriously, like this was so important. We had to frame it. We just had to like, it's, it's, it's a trophy. Um, but meanwhile, Caleb's actually at at work. So yeah, if I'm a little loopy or weird or whatever, it's because I haven't slept and I need to do some pre-recording because I want to do videos and I, and I love doing them for you guys. And, um, you know, so I just want to get them up and you know what, this is the time that I have. So damn it, girl. Damn it, Susie. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, Becky. Let go. <laughs> uh, what are these two doing? And I really love Luca's hair. You guys really seem to like it too. And that's really awesome. You guys are so supportive of him and I love it. And I feel like right now they're having a moment where, you know, Luca's kind of confiding in his brother and, and Romeo. And I really hope that we have a little girl. Do we have strawberries? Do we have strawberries? Do we? We don't. Oh, it's so dark outside. I didn't even realize. Oh, <gasps> you guys look how beautiful the sky is. Uh, Oh my goodness. I wish it wasn't so blurry right now, but like this is honestly so freaking gorgeous. Like the house is a mess, but like I want to get a picture of this. <gasps> like this is just one of those moments. And then of course we got this doozy doodle that has to like ruin it. Okay, just, okay, that was a glitch there and I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm like, man, my voice is so like raspy right now from laughing so much. Oh my gosh. It takes a lot for somebody to make me laugh. This guy had me in tears. 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 He was so funny. I want to, like, tell you some of the jokes, but, you know, I'm afraid to, like, they're not bad or anything, but, of course, you know, I'll butcher them. I always do. I butcher everything, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I probably would mess up my own name, but um, it was funny. It was some funny things. Um, okay, so what else can we do here? I think it was, I don't know what time it is. What time is it right now? We still have like 10 minutes. Okay, so let me zoom through. I just want to see kind of how much money that uh, Kayla brings home. I'm going to have Rossi kind of wake up and she's going to prepare some damn dinner. Okay, Rosa. Hey, we would love to have you join the garden gnomes. What do you think? Um, I would love to too, but probably not today. Oh, wait, no. I would like to join the garden gnomes because then I can get some freaking gardening skill. All right, but I'm trying to look for, uh, I need strawberries, and I don't know where they, um, they stay. 
to where I could actually get some of those bad boys because I do need to eat them before. But I don't know if we'll just get lucky and have like a girl. So that would be really cool too. I think I have an idea of where I could get strawberries. I'm not going to worry about it. At this point, it is what it is. If we have a girl, we have a girl. If we have a boy, we have a boy. And um, it actually looks like we have Romeo making us a little grilled cheese, which is really sweet. So I needed to go ahead and check up on Isabella. Um, today she had one of her tests. What time is it? She's probably at work right now. Um, yeah, she's at work. So I would, I'm going to text her, uh, because of her, her cervical cancer. And I know that Amy obviously had the baby, so we definitely need to visit and stuff like that. It's just today was not a good day. It just really wasn't one of those days that you could do all that. But I want to, I want to, I want to check up on her. And I also want to like apologize because yeah, you guys got mad that Rossi kind of, you know, treated her family like crap essentially yesterday for her sister being late and then also um with you know we didn't invite Sonia and she didn't show up but she's like I don't know I don't know I don't really want to talk about it because it just gets me a little heated with her mom um but I mean I get the whole you know Isabella wasn't feeling good and that and that's why she was late you guys she um she was just it was just really hard for her to get out of bed what are we doing, you guys? Oh, we need to share the big news. Well, they already know, don't they? So let me go ahead and share the big news. And then Luca's coming over here, and he's, like, loving on his mom and stuff. I wonder if we could get, like, a – oh, that was loud. <laughs> that was so loud. I'm like, oh, my God. I wonder if we could get, like, a game table or something. That would be kind of fun. I would love to, like, make up here, like, a gaming room. But we need to save some damn cash. So and I don't even know where we're going to put the other child. Um, but I want to get, like, a game table. I do. I want, I want them to do more family-oriented stuff. Um, and I think this is a good thing. So let's just see if we can find one really fast. I forget where these would be. Probably in like activities, right, Jen? It's a okay. So here's the activity table. I'm gonna get one that's kind of cheap. Oh, it's just for kids, so I can't like adults can't do that. That's kind of silly. It's only 150 bucks too, so maybe we'll just um we'll get it. Uh, and I guess I could actually put it up here because I mean, what are we gonna do with it down there? um okay and i wanted to do like a four this is awkward we really just need to save the cash to be able to expand this house uh and and be able to make it you know nice because i it's not that i don't like it i do i just feel like it's not where it could be right now okay so i gotta just kind of orient there we go all right perfect i mean yes it doesn't match like let's be realistic right now okay there we go now that looks a little bit better it's so dodgy up here uh let's play okay let's chat change game cards we're gonna replace it says replace don't wake the llama what do you mean replace don't wake the llama like why can't i just play it um okay what is that replace don't wake the llama what is it okay so can i play it now what is it doing that it's saying to re replace don't oh okay that was kind of weird um all right, so then I'm going to go ahead and have, I'm going to have them all play. Let's just do play with, and then we're going to have everybody kind of like have a little bit of a family night together because I feel like right now just with the schedules and stuff, everything is so hectic. So for us to all be able to get together like this and have a fun time, <laughs> especially with especially with Caleb and his little his little unicorn outfit, um, I think it's a fun time. And it's going to be really busy once she has this baby and stuff. So it's just, you know, spending some time together and, and uh, having some good old family fun. I love this family. Like, I really do. I feel like they all have their very distinct personalities. I feel like they're very close. And uh, good job, Luca. Yay. Um, and I really love seeing that about them. I really, really do. I love watching them change as a family and grow and get bigger. It's just, it's really special. Um, and, uh. I don't know. I'm excited to see what, what's to come. I don't know how or when I'm going to end this part, by the way. Or not this part, but like this this uh, LP. I mean, I kind of have a, an end in store. It's not going to be like a super, super long one. But I mean, I, I definitely feel like there's still so much of the story to tell between this family. And I feel like, you know, we still have a, a lot to cover. So, um, okay. I think uh, Caleb is definitely done. He fell asleep. So I'm going to have everybody kind of just wrap it up. It's definitely a little bit of a shorter episode, I would say. And then of course, uh, we've got, we've got Romeo Valentine over here. He's still working hard and very digitally. He's practicing in fact, so he could become a better don't wait the llama player and beat his family. Um, but yeah, Lu Luca is starting to feel really, really sick and he wants to be funny with Rossi and level up on the motor skill so basically he wants to like go to a park and what is he doing 
Okay. I think he has like an invisible plate in his hand or something. And of course, Rossi, her favorite move of all time. Um, yeah, she can't even make it. This is rough, rough pregnancy. I feel like she isn't it true though? Like she's the one with the always always the one with like the absolute hardest pregnancies. I mean, Angel from the Black Widow has had so many pregnancies, and I feel like she just bounces back every single time. It's really cool because every sim is affected differently, and I really like that a lot. Uh, but we have, we actually have a, oh, he wants to buy a chef station? Why, though? Like, you don't, like, that's kind of weird. All right. Well, I'm going to go and have them go to sleep. And then I think with that said, uh, I am going to wrap this part again um, it's definitely a shorter part, but it's, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I feel so weird. Like I'm usually used to like 30 minutes or so. Oh my God. You're a mess girl. She is like peeing herself. Okay. Maybe we won't be wrapping up this part. Okay. Um, she's like peeing herself freaking a hey, dude. Do we have to go to work today? Cause at this point I think she should, she's going to stay home. I mean, she is a mess. All right, like the, to the to the highest degree of degrees. Like there is nothing in the world that can fix her. Like you think she's gonna go to work like this? Come on. All right, we have to have her take some maternity leave, just a day. I, I'm trying not to. And the money. I mean, she still gets paid, right? It's just that we're not making any actual freaking progress. That's that's the part that upsets me. But uh, I think we'll be fine. We do have a thousand dollars. It's not gonna you know, we do need to figure out a way to make some serious cash. Like it's just, we just do. Um, and we, now we have to hire a freaking, oh, are you kidding me? A repair service? Really? Um, okay. So I guess we'll just go ahead and replace it for $138. I'm going to have her go ahead and just kind of, you know, try to green up a little. And then what I'm hoping is, is we can get her to, to start working on some books, writing skill, whatever. So then that way she can actually end up, um, you know, maybe making some extra coin on the side. I don't freaking know, uh, at this point, but let's see what we have in here. I'm going to go ahead and breed these two frogs you know, make an extra hundred pechos, whatever works at this point. Uh, we got some grapes. That's grand. And what else do we have? What's this frog? Oh, 10. Okay. We're going to, we're going to sell this froggy here. I guess I would, I thought everybody was going to go sleep and it was going to be a peaceful night, but everybody's like waking up. Um, and school starts for our boys in just about an hour. And of course, Romeo is feeling really, really, really stressed out too. This is not, you know what? We don't need this. You know, I've decided we just don't need it. We're going to sell it. Is there anything in the, oh my God. Oh, yeah, that's right, you guys. We ended up getting, um, from having, like, a good wedding, we ended up getting, like, all of these freaking, uh, what you call it, all of these uh, appliances. All right, so I kind of think I'm going to sell this wedding pillar. I'm going to sell the in full bloom. Oh, this is our wedding bouquet. You can't sell that. Gosh, Jen, like, have some sentimental value. Um, all right, so instead, I will go ahead and put these flowers in our inventory. These are ones that Caleb got for us. We'll put in this little wedding bouquet. Um, I think right now I might just do a little bit of reno, uh, renovations. I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna sell this block because we don't need that. I kind of want to keep these two though. Is that bad that I want to keep that? We don't need an eye chart. Like really? I know that I can see, <laughs> I can see how much that's worth <laughs> and it's worth a lot of money. <laughs> All right, so let me figure out what we're going to do. The first thing that I feel like has to go are these walls. Um, I do like the more kind of like cabin-y feel. Um, I do feel like maybe having, you know, a color of wood behind like some sort of paneling. I think that's kind of cute. What do you guys feel about that? Does that look okay? It's nice, right? It kind of adds some color. Okay. Um, and then I'm thinking, uh, for like a wallpaper, cause we didn't have money. That's why these walls are the color that they are. Um, maybe for like a wallpaper, we could do something a little more neutral, but like solid neutral. And I'll probably like redo this part of the paneling there. Um, do we like that? I don't mind it. I can't say I'm in love with it though. Uh, I think a lot of it's actually, it's not too bad. It's really not that bad. Okay. Um, maybe a different color though. That's something that's not like what I use all the time. Maybe a little bit of a lighter color palette. Ooh, I kind of like that. Or maybe like a gray. Do I have a gray? Like a light gray. I kind of like that too. That's really bright and fun. Okay. I like this. I do. It's kind of like on the pinkish side. I feel like maybe it is a little pinky, but, or maybe I'll do this one. Ooh, I like 
like that. Okay, good. I don't use that one very much either. So that's perfect. Okay. So then we'll go back with the paneling that I chose earlier. And I, and if you guys think that you have any suggestions or anything like that, how you think we could make this house, you know, and even cheap, like you guys are really good at like really, really creative, you know? Um, cause like I don't have a lot of money to really be spending on that kind of thing. So like less would be more. Uh, but I really do like that. And I feel like this flooring tile might want to be like a solid at this point. Cause I don't think I'm in love with that. Um, yeah, let's just use, what is this? Like some puzzles. Yeah, that's great. Like a little puzzle, puzzle board, pu puzzle floor. Uh, I was thinking maybe some linoleum. I don't really know if I like that or I could just do a light. I kind of like this. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm playing around right now mostly. So don't like think that this is how it's going to stay. Because it's definitely a lot of like uh, just kind of messing around. But I kind of like that though. And I feel like this would be. See like that just already. Just getting rid of this nasty like just dreary paper. It just makes the house already look so much better. Uh, yeah I like that a lot actually. Okay cool. So we're already kind of making progress. I just feel like the kitchen is definitely my area of concern. I don't maybe if I don't know if I should maybe like lighten up. I like that. Oh my god, I like that a lot. I'm starting to really like our house now. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we like lighten up stuff? Why is this one different than this one? Like, why does this look so stark white? And then, oh, that's why. Oh, okay. Uh, so maybe we'll just do the off-white counter, off-white appliances, and then we'll do all of this up here. So you guys, let me know. Do you like the darker counters or the lighter counters? I kind of want to. If we are going to do this together somewhat, I kind of want your feedback, I think. I think. I kind of like that. So I'm, I'm kind of playing around, you know, with the color palettes a little bit. Um, of course, uh, you know, it's also up to you guys what you think. But um, I think if we could probably get some really good renovations in. I do feel like, though, with the, the house structure, I feel like it could be either way. It could be light wood, dark wood. It doesn't really matter. Um, but then we would have to lighten up this, too. Like, all this furniture. But I actually kind of just want to get all new furniture to be honest with you like I like this but I kind of just wanted to leave everything I don't know we have like two thousand dollars so I guess you could kind of let me know what you think I mean I could even go with this wood too um something a little bit not really dark but not really too light I don't know I can't decide now if I like the darker wood or the lighter this is really difficult like this is why you guys have asked me so many times you're like hey Jen you should totally make your uh you should make your dream house like I don't even know what that is what is that like what, what do I what do I want honestly I wouldn't be able to decide long enough I'm the kind of girl that has to change on the polish like every freaking day if I could I would but yeah, I'll have to figure it out. So anyways, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I had a lot of fun with you and thank you for hanging out with me. Um, in the comments down below, please leave me your home renovation ideas. What would you think? Let me give you a little, a little, you know, maybe, 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 maybe I have a little bit. You know what? No, I'm going to go ahead. I trust you. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to upload this house to the gallery. Okay, and I think, let me just, I don't know if I can undo this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, let me see. I need you guys to, okay, 35 plus 2. We have about 30, $38,000. I'd prefer for you guys to get it around 37 with the renovations. Do whatever you want to do to this house. Make it just fit the family because I need your help. I am literally contracting you guys. And whatever house that I choose will be the one that will be featured in my LP. And I think the next LP will probably be a week. So you have about a week to get this done. I will upload it to the gallery. This is my house. I made this. You guys can do whatever you want to it. You can submit your um, submissions. Because, like, look, come on. I need your help. <laughs> you can submit your submissions to me. Um, uh, you know, obviously in the gallery. We'll do U.S. Uh, like get together or get together revamp. I'll, I'll link down the hashtag down below. And then if you want to share like your photos and stuff with me um, to have me have a better chance of seeing it, definitely do so uh, at Twitter. And, and you guys have all my information. And if not, it's always in the description. So, all right, guys. Well, I think with that said, we're about, we're about done here. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. Oh, and if you can fit a third bedroom in or, well, a fourth bedroom for the for the little bunion. Definitely uh, hook me up. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.